be turning your Bible to the book of Psalms, first chapter 1, verse 1. Uh, I'm going to study a little bit there this morning. We're glad to be back in the house of the Lord. We would like to uh, uh, thank those that are listening over the internet and hoping that they can uh, get a blessing out of it and that they might uh, let some of their friends know about it and uh, might uh, add to our viewers. In uh, chapter one of book one of uh, chapter book book of psalm chapter one verse one i'll get it out in a minute uh starting with the first verse blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly amen now <clears throat> when we say that that means a, a whole lot this morning because a counsel a lot of times is the, is the one that gives advice and uh, we have a lot of counseling going on in our country today and uh, we can see a lot of it over the uh, television and, and over the computers about uh, counseling and about telling us how that we should uh, walk and how that we should talk and how that we should do but he says here blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly and so this morning we as God's people need to be much aware of the ungodly counseling that is going on through the world this day because listen uh, 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 the more you look at the things the more that you see that the biggest thing is entertainment right and uh, if you can uh, if you can get a group together and entertain them with some kind of a, a dance or a song or a little something to eat you've got a church or what's those called church and they're getting everything except the truth and uh, right. you drop uh, one of them off and you won't have no people there but anyway uh, the, the the psalmist here is saying uh, about the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly now I would uh, first of all this one we need to I want to go to the book of Proverbs just a minute I'll read, read a little bit to you in Proverbs 4 talking about this in verse 14, 4, 14, <clears throat> he says here, Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Amen. Now this is listening to the counsel of the ungodly. This is, this is what it'll get you into when you do this. So he says, enter not into the path of the wicked, nor go not into the way of the evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. He says not to even, not to even <clears throat> be curious enough to get uh, uh, in hearing distance of these things and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and get your attention. Because listen, uh, something like that the flesh likes to hear regardless right. of, of what you think about it the flesh is still in a state of unsa unsaved mm -hmm. because uh uh it's it wasn't bought it wasn't paid for his sin wasn't paid for at the time that jesus christ died on the cross of calvary but only our souls so this flesh is going to have to answer to the things that it's done through death and death will death will uh, take care of that flesh and it will go to the ground and rot and so but here we're talking about the spirit and he says here uh, in verse 14 or verse 15 he says avoid it pass not by it turn from it and pass away and uh, the very appearance of sin you avoid now mm -hmm. avoid it or in verse 16 so he says for they sleep not. Now, I want you to hear this. It's, this is this is talking about those ungodly, those that gives this uh, ungodly account uh, 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 countenance. Or, or I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll counsel. But notice he says here, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief. Now they can't be satisfied unless they have caused somebody problem mm -hmm. or have they told a lie to someone or they have caused them to go astray in some way. That's the only way. And listen, that's a devil-possessed person. Mm -hmm. That's one that gets its, its rest from after he's deceived someone. So right. he said here in this here, For they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Now who, why would it fall? 
Why is it taken away? Well, their, their God, the devil, takes their pleasure away from them and gives them a desire to go out here and do these things, and they can't rest. And, and you know, it, it just don't sound, it ain't normal, and you would never think of anybody that would just intentionally, just intentionally go out here and tell someone a lie and cause their souls to, to, it might cause their souls to be down or it might keep them from knowing the truth. But listen, there's people in this world like that because mm -hmm. there is people in this world that serves the devil completely. They right. have turned over, they have, they have turned their life over to the devil and they're, all they want is the things of the world and they're satisfied with that. And so when they, if anything stands in their way of getting worldly possessions, that's what they do. They right. do their thing. So here he says uh, in verse uh, uh, 17, For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto a perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. And listen, I have come to understand more and more in my latter years of my life about darkness. Uh, it is darkness is a place where the un where the 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 wicked council lives mm -hmm. and where they're always there. And you think about this of a night when you lay down and you close that turn them lights off and everything and you close your eyes. If you're not very careful, that old boy is going to come there and he's going to talk to you and he's going to try to tell you all the worries and all the troubles and all the woes that you've got. Mm. And he's going to get you so upset that you can't go to sleep. And so listen, uh, you know, sometimes he will he will hit so hard on you that, that you're, you're going to wonder, hey, uh, am I lost? And listen, people, that's that's a dangerous spot to be in. But he does it that way, and it's in a state of darkness. And that's the reason why this morning, when when this darkness is up on the face of the earth, God said, "Let there be light." There's got to be that light there for Amen. us, that are Christians, to guide us and show us and shine into our hearts and give us uh, a desire to serve Him. So He said, "Here, the way of the wicked is as darkness; they know not at all." They know at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words, incline thy ears unto my sayings, and let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the light, in the midst of thy heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to their flesh. And so this is a warning this morning when when these old things come up and these councils, and you hear these people uh, wanting to argue with you about scripture and stuff like this, they've got one thing in mind. Mm -hmm. And that's to disturb you, to put you in a turmoil and listen, and it won't be over when you leave them because like I said a while ago, you go, you go to bed at night and you lay down and you close your eyes and these, here it comes, here it comes. It just keeps turning and turning. So you stay away from it. You don't even want to get close to it. That's what, what the, what the, uh, the, the scripture says are just completely get away from the if, uh, of this uh, council. So here again, back in our lesson, he says here in, uh, but his delight, notice here, the, uh, let me read it again. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scorners. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate night and day. Now, would if you would turn with me to, uh, to Psalm 26 just for a minute. I, will, I think I've got something here I want to read to you. I've got a mark here. And uh, y'all just, just uh, pray for me because, hey, you know, when you, when you, when you start teaching something, uh, 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 if the devil don't like it, he don't like it. So, right. In, 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 um, Verse 26, in verse, uh, chapter 26, verse 1. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine iniquity. I have trusted also in, in I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Uh, examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. 
For my loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, so will I compass thine offer, O Lord, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the inhabitants, the habitation of thy house, and the place where thy altar dwelleth. So we see here, this is what this man is saying, that uh, he says, examine me. And that's what this morning is a good, uh, a good prayer for us this morning is to ask the Holy Spirit, ask the, the Lord Jesus, examine me and, and, and clear, my, clear my conscience. And, because he says, you know, we're, we're trying to serve the Lord. Amen. And, and when he comes, the devil comes in and, and aggravates us and churns us and turns us around and all. Listen, it's a good thing, Lord. You examine me and show me, show me where I've done wrong. And if I've done wrong, I confess it. And so he says here uh, that I have hated the congregations of evildoers. And if we don't, if we don't feel that way towards these, this wicked counseling and these wicked churches that so-called churches right. that are preaching and teaching false doctrine listen there's something wrong with Amen. it we we don't have no, i don't have a desire whatsoever to uh, to be with them and this is what he's saying here but he said again i want to read this again and this is the man but his delight is in the law of the, uh, of the lord and his in his law doth he meditate day and night. Now here's what he's like. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his seasons. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now, you see, this attracts, this prosper and attracts people mm -hmm. and they say well hey i know what i'm going to do i'm going to get started in church and i'm going to prosper mm -hmm. well listen that's not what the the scripture is for this morning but it is <coughs> this it is a uh, uh it's 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 evidence uh when you see christians serving the lord they may not have the biggest car and the finest house but listen you can always see that smile on their face. You can always Amen. see something in it and feel something when you when you talk to them. And this is what he's talking about, this tree. And it's, it's like a man's life. And he says, and whatsoever he do, he shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. Right. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. And if you, if you ever thought about chaff, and, and Jesus used this, it was wheat chaff. And you know, how they used to get the chaff off of the wheat was they would put it in big blankets, great big blankets, and they'd pitch it up in the air, and the wind would blow the chaff away, and the wheat would come back down. And this is what he's saying here, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. And so that's, that is the condition of them. So I want to, I want to read another scripture to you if I can, and if you'll just bear with me, and maybe it'll, 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 it'll I uh, help a little bit with this in 17, uh, 17, 7. Seventeen seven says, Show thy marvelous loving kindness. Oh, let me, let me look, make sure that I'm right on this. 17, 7, okay. <clears throat> Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee for those that rise up against thee. I don't think I've got the right one. This is not the right one. I'm, I, I've got something wrong here. I marked something wrong. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know where it's at. Uh, it, was like, it, was, it, it was another example of this tree. But anyway, we'll go on. The, uh, therefore, the un in verse, back in our lesson, we'll look at, the chapter, at verse 5. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, Amen. but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Now, I want to read something to you this morning in Jeremiah, and just uh, Jeremiah 23, 28. 
and uh, thank you, sir. Well, look at 17. That's where I was at, supposed to be at. In Jeremiah 17. I want you to look at this. In verse 7. Jeremiah 17, 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord. Amen. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that stretcheth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought. And we know this morning uh, of what a drought uh, consists of, and it's a, sh a shortage of water. And uh, so many times we have droughts in our summer gardens, and they uh, they dry up and all this. And, but he says here, they shall not be careful in the year of drought. They shall have plenty, and they'll not have to be sparing with it. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Now here is the the other side of this. The the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Amen. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give them every man according to his way and according to the fruit of his doing. Now, as the partridge sitteth on eggs, this is a good one, and hatcheth them not. Now, why would she not hatch them? Because she didn't stay long enough. Hmm. She just didn't stay there and sit there. Notice here. As the partridge sitteth on edge and hatcheth them not, so he that getteth riches and not by lot shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at his end shall be a fool. Right. So this is the uh, deceitful, but anyway, the blessed is those, is, is like the 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 tree of that's by the tree of life and that now I will get back again to twenty Jeremiah twenty three twenty eight Jeremiah twenty three twenty eight this is up <clears throat> look at uh, verse look at verse uh, 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 twenty five says twenty eight I have heard what the prophets said that prophesy lies in my name now here is this evil counsel saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. That rings a bell, that rings a bell. Right. Yeah, yeah. That rings a bell. Yep. Yeah. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor. As their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal, the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Amen. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord? And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that steals my word, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongue, and say, He saith. And so that was those that, like the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all this, and they, they, uh, 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 even the devil himself uh, uh, quoted uh, some of the Psalms right. to the Lord. And so this is some of the things that, uh, that I was, I, I hope that it will, it will help you on this, uh, on this thing. So we want to go down just a little bit more here in this, uh, in the book of uh, Psalms and, and, and I'll, uh, I'll close for today. But I wanted to, I wanted to read these things here. <clears throat> now, not, I, I, and this chaff again, we need to remember that uh, about uh, what it, what it, what it is. He says here, for in verse six of our of uh, of Psalm uh, of the first chapter, he says, "For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly perish." And this morning, we need to we need to uh, be closer to the Lord than what we are. 
Mm. And we need to understand what the, the, God's Word is saying for you. He says, why do the heathens, in verse uh, chapter 2, why do the heathens rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in the derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set, I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the degree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathens of thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for my possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt cast them in pieces like a potter vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way. When he hath when his wrath is kindled, but a little blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Amen. So that is our lesson for this morning, and uh, I hope that this has been uh, something that you can uh, latch on to. And uh, this, uh, uh, what I wanted mostly to us was to stress this thing of the uh, counseling that you can get from the. Uh, world and uh and from uh, especially from your televisions mm -hmm. uh, if you don't believe it well you just you just keep on listening to some of these uh guys and and, and listen to what they're saying it, it's 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 misleading right it's misleading and uh when it's all said and done uh they ask uh for your money Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a job to them, and they could care less about your soul. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a sad situation that we live in. But uh, one of these days, all of this will be over with, and we'll have peace, and we'll be in, a, as we were saying in the song this morning, we'll be up there with Him. Amen. And, uh, so thank you all for listening to what I had to say. Amen.